bear on the mixing con new stand. You've got a new stand. Uh, it's a, a rock jam. It's a rock jam, and it's definitely made in China with your heart. Ah, oh, I am a kitty cat. Oh yes. Oh, I'm licking my. Oh, I'm licking my fur. Yeah, you stay off of the mixing console. It's mine. Yes, okay. You think your mixing console is yours? Yes, okay. Okay, I'm thinking about buggering off. No, I changed my mind. No, okay. Okay. You like it there, Bear, don't you? I'm still trying to figure out the... Um, I've got the RTA response on there. Ooh, because it's picking up on the microphone, but it's bypassing the main fader. Um, so I've got something not connected. You know, it's in a bypass mode, so it's bypassing uh, like EQs and such uh, on the knobs, on uh, the EQs, some of the EQs. I can hear it through the headphones, um, but it's not, um, I can't see a bass response change. Like if I make an ooh and adjust the EQs um, or fake main failure, so it's not going through. It's, uh, I've only had this a few days, so I'll figure it out. Um, it's not a bad mixer, uh, so its purpose is just to be used for uh, doing a very special uh, microphone RTAing. Uh, which probably be up and all running near to the end of the year, I think, because uh, uh, Behringer ECM microphones, um, I've got about eight of these. I need about another 16 of these. Um, yeah, so I'll do that uh, a few at a time or something. So it might, it might, but at the very least, it might not be till early next year. Um, no rush. Um, because I know what sort of results I'm probably going to get and sort of thinking as well as other tests and such uh, oh, pff, multitudes of uh, free mind ideas where everyone else is like uh, electronic sheep on uh, audio science review <laughs> um, they got some opinions or such but they haven't got much equipment <laughs> to um, do specific necessary things so they're rather limited and um, well that's 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 up to them you know these storm audios or these trinobs can't do everything you know they they got certain things that are put into them that are pretty common to say like a, a common loudspeaker management crossover system because I've looked at these things and think oh it, it looks, you know, just as common as a, yeah, only they condense, condense it down. They put so much in there, like, uh, I mean, like 32 channel, something in the Storm Audio, um, <clears throat> you know, to condense Behringer DC, it's like condensing Behringer DCXs down, uh, multitudes of them. But if you use the crossovers and all the other things on it, then you reduce the output discrete channel use um, whereas it goes all full range in this room because it's all JBL theatrical uh, cinema speakers so there's no need to set in there you know unless surround channels need it but screen channels don't need it um, Yeah, and uh, I'll, I'll do my own cheap way of going around doing bass wave forming. <laughs> bass wave. Yeah, you've got to spend 40000 plus dollars just to get a trin of, just so that you can have the the uh, access use of having this bass wave. Yeah, how long until other manufacturers start using something similar? Um, just basically, so at the end of the day, it's just to sell sub-bass speakers. Yeah, I think the word is it's it's only it only does mono. Well, that's rather boring. <laughs> Even if it were doing stereo, um, there'll be slight differences in the signalling. Um, 
But, you know, if base waveform in most home theatres, I imagine the they're going to have the sub bass levels way too high. It's not going to blend in smoothly with the specific speakers that are going to be used. And basically, it just ends up washing over all that. And you don't get any directional bass. You hear some mid range sounds and such, you know, but you. You, you're not going to be hearing it, listening to it, feeling it like a uh, theatrical, like in a proper cinema, um, the, the, which also down convert, converting it down back back to the original source, the dub stages and such. Um, so, yeah, they say Trinov can do everything. Yeah, sure it can. <laughs> can it do Dolby Stereo? Can it do Prospector Sound? Uh, prospector stereo can it do f f sense around <laughs> uh, and most people that use a trim don't even use the five screen wide <laughs> dear you don't know what you're missing um, because they'd rather put more blooming surround speakers around the room that is old news that, that's been done for quite a while but then five screen is very uncommon for the home uh, you could do it, you know, you can have it like, you know, it's on the mix sometimes on, on an Atmos. Well, if it is sometimes, uh, I could do it, uh, you could do it uh, matrixly, you know, using a DSU or a 3D or um, DTSX or, uh, and then you apply the Storm X Plus sort of thing. Uh, or you can switch it off and I can switch over down here and I can go manual, I can do uh, matrix one five screen which works pretty damn well um, yeah um, oh yeah base base and all this sub base blah 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 you know with DCXs you know second hand and such you could you could do you could do sub bass until you're blue in the face because it's literally unlimited uh the only d difference is, is you'll have stacks and stacks of these uh but then you know the trin of yeah it can do lots of sub but then you trade off all these extra surround speakers and overhead eventually you keep using too much of it and then you're going to trade off all the overhead all the height note top end speaker thing you just trade it off <laughs> just for the sake of mono sub bass <gasps> oh dear <laughs> 